Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to cook Napa Jack's Merlot Barbecue Duck Gravy. So I've roasted a duck that was about seven pounds and I have my beautiful, beautiful drippings here. Gorgeous, right? So I'm going to use this for my gravy. I've also boiled up the duck giblets. Make sure you check out that show for how to do that and my mom is just removing the meat from the neck. That's what we're going to use. Also, I'm going to use the liquid from uh, the giblets that were, um, they boiled in there for about two hours and now I've got a nice flavorful kind of a stock. So that's also gonna be some of my liquid. I also have a slurry prepared. There's about three quarters of a cup of all purpose flour in a jar with water, equal parts, okay? So that's what's gonna um, thicken up our gravy to a great extent. Usually I like to add mushrooms to my gravy, but tonight since we're using uh, barbecue flavor, I'm not doing that. We're just gonna leave it straight up gravy. I'm using a gorgeous Napa Jack's Merlot barbecue sauce. This is from Wine Country Kitchen, so you can check them out online at winecountrykitchens.com. And they have a whole line of these really super tasty barbecue sauces, of which I uh, use this particular one for my duck. So you gotta check out that recipe for how to roast Napa Jack's Merlot barbecue duck glazed duck. It was ama it's amazing. Um, so on my stove top, I just have this uh, preheating right now. Now duck is particularly fatty. So it has a lot of duck fat in the drippings and that's great and fine and dandy, but I don't want to use all of that for my gravy. So I'm actually going to strain off about half of this, mostly uh, duck fat. And I'm gonna actually use that for baking this week and it's amazing for baking, especially if you're making bread or buns. It's absolutely delicious. It is probably the nicest uh, kind of fat you could use for baking savory things. All right, so just take some of that off, leave it in the fridge, but you don't wanna get any of those beautiful drippings. So this drippings already kind of have a little bit of a Merlot barbecue flavor because our duck has been glazed in that. And we'll also add just a little bit more of that flavor in. Try and keep all the brown bits. Well, you do want a bit of this fat in there, so leave just a little bit in there. And into my preheated frying pan, this is going. I'm also going to deglaze this roasting pan with a little bit of red wine. If you have Merlot, that's even better. Maybe a quarter of a cup and just use that to scrape off the edges, those little brown bits, that's what lots of the flavor is you want for your gravy. Oftentimes I will do my gravy right in my roasting pan, but today I used a glass one and I don't wanna do that onto my stove top. So this is what we're gonna do and that's no problem. Wine makes quick work of deglazing. Let's get all that flavor, don't get all that flavor in there and into the pan. I'm also going to add my um, stock from the duck giblets. Now I'm going to add maybe another teaspoon to a tablespoon of the Merlot barbecue sauce. If you're going to add mushrooms, uh, you're going to add them now. You want to kind of soften them up in this liquid, so you're just going to kind of let it simmer in there with the, with the liquid but I don't have any mushrooms in there, so I don't have to wait for that. I'm gonna bring it up to heat. I'm gonna season it quickly a little bit better, and then I'm gonna add my slurry to thicken it, and then we're done. I'm gonna add some freshly ground pepper, and just a little bit of salt. We're gonna to have to do a taste test before we add our slurry to make sure that the spices are just right. Okay, do your taste test. Oh, that's delicious. Man, that's good. All right. In goes my slurry, shake it up really well before you add that, and that's going to thicken things. You're gonna bring that up to a boil, and you're gonna let it go for maybe a minute or so, two minutes, cook out that flour flavor. Uh, once that happens and it comes to its full boil, it's gonna be at its full thickening power. So that's as thick as your gravy's gonna get. If you need to add some more, then add some more at that point. Make sure you make enough gravy. Now stir that all together through now add the uh, meat from your giblets if you want. Stir that through and make sure that you give it a good taste test. Make sure it's salty enough and peppery enough. Make sure it has enough barbecue sauce. If you want a little bit more wine, you can always add that. Let's see what we got going on here. Mmm. Very, very nice. Mmm. A little bit more salt. 
little bit more pepper. And I'm gonna add just a dash of cayenne pepper as well. All right, that came up to the boil and it's thickened up nicely. And this is what we have going on here, a nice thick, thick gravy, beautiful. Let's put it in a gravy boat. I love these beautiful chunks of duck meat that are in the gravy too. That's such a treat. This is gonna be beautiful on our potatoes. We did baked mashed potatoes today. Make sure you check out that recipe. It's gonna be fantastic. There we go, beautiful. Seeing that I can't wait for dinner, I'm gonna put a little bit of gravy on a bite of mashed potatoes and just tell you about it. Mm -hmm. It's nice and thick, it coats well. Look at that, oh, goodness sakes. Mmm, 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 mmm. It has roasted duck flavor. It's savory. You can taste that barbecue in it. It's smoky and sweet and tangy. Oh, that's delicious. Mmm. The Merlot wine really kicks it up. Mmm. That's delicious. Mom, would you like to try the gravy with some potatoes? Sure. Here. So let me show you up closer while Mom does that. Sneaks a peek. There you go beautiful pieces of duck meat in there. Look at that. Oh, that's a treat. I couldn't wait for dinner. Mm. <laughs> Good, right? Mm -hmm. What do you like about it? Oh, it just, it's just so delicious. It's just full of flavor. Mm. Good stuff? Well, it's mom approved. That's good. Well, we're nearing nearing time to eat. I'm just getting the table started. And uh, that's it. That's all. Make sure you check out winecountrykitchens.com online for this awesome barbecue sauce and their whole line of these wonderful barbecue sauces that you can do nearly anything you can imagine with. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Lovely. Duck gravy. Isn't that hard? Dark, glorious gravy. That's yeah. right. So that's how you cook Napa Jack's Merlot Barbecue Duck Gravy. You can do it too. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly. YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My channel is on Roku Cooking with Kimberly. And you can also find me on Apple TV. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world. All right? Happy holidays from our house to yours. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye-bye.